folks, Craig Danger, vinyl record player. Got ourselves some vinyl finds. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it all into it. As a matter of fact, uh, yeah. So, been a couple of months really since I uh, bought a bunch of records. And let's start with, of course, this one is kind of a, a bit of an interesting one, and, and it kind of, I guess, could become somewhat of a prized rock one. This is uh, SF Sorrow by the Pretty Things. This is a good album. Uh, I've only heard it a couple of times, but I've heard it talked up way around the VC about a billion times. I've heard some other Pretty Things stuff. I was a fan of their first album, which I had on compact disc way back in the day. This one I've heard, uh, it's very Beatlesy. It, it's very Beatlesy. So if you're a Beatles person, you'll probably be like, this is great. Oh. Anyway, I have not listened to this a lot, but it is good on the Bare Earth label. I don't know what that means, but whatever the case, Pretty Things, kind of a, I would say, very kind of underappreciated band from the late 60s. And this album, probably a little underappreciated, although not in the VC, almost everybody has one. So yeah, SF Sora, the Pretty Things, got this one a little close to 20 bucks. So it's a bit steeper, but I had never actually seen this in the wild before. There's a couple of early 70s Pretty Things albums that are always around and not this one. So when I found this one, I'm like, oh, gotta get it, gotta get it. This album had actually been hanging out for quite a long time at my local record store and it was only Seven Bones, but it was 76, 77. This is on the, the Tamla Motown label. This is uh, Eddie Kendrick's Up in Smoke, which is, it's okay. I do have, I believe, the second or no, I have the first album by Eddie Kendricks, which is great, fantastic. This one is okay, very disco y. It's basically, you, you get this started with what's that opening track? This is a British pressing. The opening track is the title track, Going Up in Smoke. Right away, you're like, oh, I see, this is going to be a disco party. And in fact, it pretty much is right way, right the way through, 76, 77. Okay, so produced by Norman Harris, who I think that guy's like a really well-known drummer. I might be wrong in that one too. But whatever the case, it's a disco album. It, it uh, is okay, but not a mind blower. But again, I do like Eddie Kendricks, him of course, ex of The Temptations. And I'm, this is a, I'm not to be, you know, full of puns, but... It's one a smoking cover right here, and a flaming cover you could even say. But uh, anyway, got it for about seven bucks. Not a bad pickup. Uh, Eddie Kendricks going up in smoke. This one was imp an impressive find for me. Jimmy Cliff special from I think this is from like '82 or '83. I don't even know. But to actually find a Jimmy Cliff record in the I got this in the three dollar bin was kind of a shocker for me. Now. Uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, that's from the 80s, so it's going to have a little bit of that 80s production. And admittedly, is not Jimmy at his peak. And that's, uh, of course, a fact. In fact, after I picked this one up, I started listening to some of his earlier stuff. There's a great album, I think, from 71, 72, that was from the um, uh, produced at Muscle Shoals. Really good album, but really. Yeah, really nobody bought it. Uh, this one, I'm gonna have to keep listening to. We'll see, uh, again, but for, for three bucks, and this is fairly minty, Jimmy Cliff, classic, uh, I'm not gonna say classic record, classic artist though, Jimmy Cliff, special. Another one trying to fill in the old uh, 1970s Isley Brothers collection, especially after I had seen them actually at the LA County Fair in, geez, I think that was June? No, that was in May. And uh, anyway, this is a classic lineup. I think it's about 75, really uh, good stuff. I mean, you got the classic, uh, the classic title track. You got Midnight Sky, part one and two. They're, they're really getting into the parts one and two on, on this particular uh, record. But yeah, this is classic Isley Brothers funk. Nothing gonna be that surprising on this one. And of course, resplendent, these gentlemen, always wearing the best threads. In this case, I believe 1974, 75 has to offer. Uh, and of course, 
additional fun on this is that we get to uh, find out all the star signs here of the uh, of the old uh, Isabrams, including uh, you know we we have uh, Marvin who is a uh, Leo, uh, we got uh, Kelly uh, who is a uh, Capricorn, love the Capricorns, I'm, I'm a Capricorn. Uh, we have uh, this? Ernie is a Pisces, Rudolph is an Aries. Uh, oh, we got another Capricorn here, is it? That uh, Chris is a Capricorn. Way to go, Chris. Way, way to be a goat. And of course, uh, we got Ronald, who is a Gemini. Anyway, uh, these albums are available. I got this for about 10 bucks. They're available a lot. You should pick them up. This one. Still getting into this one. This I do have the first Maze album, which I think is fantastic. This one is a little bit more electronic-y and sort of edging towards that 80s style of production that I'm not the biggest lover of. So I've listened to it a few times. It seems okay. Uh, hey, if you know this record, leave in the comments what track should I be looking to because I still haven't found that track that kind of makes me go, oh, yes, this LP by May is, is fantastic. This is, I think, their second LP, probably from 78, 79. Uh, so still looking, uh, but uh, I'm confident enough in that first LP to think that this one is probably pretty good as well. And uh, yeah, we'll end up the vinyl finds I'm, with this uh, interesting record, actually. This one I just bought, this one was also Seven Bones. I, I just picked it up because I'm like, oh, look, Stax Bolt review live in London. And you know what? Uh, it's fun. I just sort of slapped it on and started listening to it and just a great record. I, I didn't even know all of the, like the order of the songs. I didn't even look at the LP. I just kind of listened, let it play out. And I thought, you know what? This is way more fun of an album than I thought it would be. So uh, yeah, hard to go wrong. I mean, you got Otis Redding, Sam and Dave, Carla Thomas, Eddie Floyd, Booker T. They're all on here. Uh, the condition on this is, this may in fact be original stacks. Uh, that's that that classic sort of, um, uh, I guess that'd be 61 to 67 logo. So this might even be original press. Doesn't matter. Um, it's a great album. And if you see some something like this in the wild, you should pick it up. Just because, you know, these are just random fun records to listen to. And yeah, all the cuts on here are, are pretty fantastic. So... So yeah, that's my, uh, that's my uh, vinyl finds. First one in probably a couple of months because I wasn't sure if I was broke. Turns out I'm not broke, thank God. And also turns out uh, there are still some records that I'm looking for, but uh, I will admit over the past uh, 10 months having a channel here, I have just bought way, way, way a lot of records. I'm gonna start doing a lot more ranking stuff. I'm gonna start doing a lot more uh, stuff based on the, the records I already own as opposed to continually collecting, which so many do. In the end, big priority on this channel for me is to have great records, but to have great records, not to have a bunch of junk that are sitting on shelves that I never listen to. All these people with like thousands and thousands of records, I'm just like, do you? I got no problem with it. But in the end, I want to know that I'm actually going to listen to these records. And... Stuff like this, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna at least give it a shot. So anyway, uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you're still here. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'll see you on the next one.